Good morning guys and happy Friday. I woke up early today and I have a lot of things to do. I need to tidy up my room again. This is the third time in one week and I have some things to do in the kitchen. But I just wanted to start the day with telling you guys something I really didn't expect that happened last night. So yesterday in the vlog, I ended up with talking to you guys about how much I feel lost and that I'm not very sure about anything anymore. And like later in the like last morning, I was talking with my friends at uni about the same problem and about how I'm disappointed and I just don't know what to do. And then I opened that podcast by Ukraine Institute at night before I sleep and then I just continued it this morning and it's so beautiful and I cannot even believe that what I exactly needed was to hear that podcast because they were talking about the power of dua and they they were discussing the the story of one of the most beloved people to my heart which is Maryam alayhi salam and I feel connected to her and whenever I struggle with life I search about her and search about her story and search about what would she will do if she was in my position because somehow when my mom named me, named me Maryam I feel like I am responsible and connected with that great name the name of the greatest woman that ever put a foot in on earth and they were talking about how Maryam's mother made dua to God that she wants a, a, a baby that will serve God and she wanted a child a boy and then she got pregnant and then she she said she was happy, she felt like the diet was accepted and now she's she's pregnant. But then it turned out that she is she, that she she has got a, a baby girl, not a baby boy. And even though she did not expect at all to have a baby girl, she accepted that situation she's in and she thanked God for his blessing. And Maryam turned out to be one of the greatest people on earth who ever came to earth and she got Isa salam, which is one of the greatest prophets and at the end of the day her mother's dua got accepted in a very different form that ended up of Isa salam, being a prophet and being someone who worships Allah and being someone who's very powerful it, they were just discussing how dua is just not something that you do and like you get done with and then you complete your life. It's it's a journey, it's a process. And in that process, you need to trust Allah and you need to know and have faith that he has the greater hand in everything. He can give you everything and he can do everything. Basically, it's God. And it's the most human thing possible to feel lost and feel like, like, what should I do now? But I, I'm not sure I can like explain the whole podcast in a very good way. Like you should listen to it. I will put a link in the description. It just reminded me of how powerful I feel whenever I just do what I have to do and do what I need to do and not think about the consequences and not think about my future and not get anxious about things that I cannot control because basically I'm a human being and I cannot control everything and I cannot give myself the authority to control my life that much. Like I have the authority to control my life but I have extents to that control because at the end of the day, I'm not as powerful as Allah and I'm weak beside him but i'm stronger because i have god so you should listen to that podcast because one of the people talking was dr najwa she's a psychiatrist and a she studied um islamic studies so i really look up to her and i really loved the reflections about 
about the story of Maryam and her mother. It was just so inspiring and it was something I needed so much. And now I came out with conclusions is that even though I have no idea what the future bear for me, but I will do my best. I will study, you know, just do my best. Accept that this is what Allah has given me, even though maybe this is not what I wanted exactly. But this is my dua being accepted in another way. And I really want to believe in that. And I really want to have faith in God. So yeah. Thank you for for listening. I hope I said something that makes sense to you. Or if I didn't, you should listen to the podcast. I will leave a link in the description box below. And let's get started with our day. Then with tidying up. And I prayed Dhuhr, alhamdulillah. And I planned on reading Surat Al-Kahf. And then I got the idea of studying it too not just reading it so from now on every friday inshallah i will study surat al-kahf by watching father sunayman's video there are videos in arabic he takes basically um he started last year in the pandemic when he where he takes like a surah and then starts studying the verses in a way that teaches you how to learn and reflect what you learned on your life and like make the most use out of the verses you learned. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, inshallah. Today's the most chill I've ever been since the beginning of Ramadan. That's why I'm so like, you know, active and productive and doing things. But by 4 p.m. or something, you will find me blah, like dead. Okay, that's it. So um, I'm gonna start. أم حسبت أن أصحاب الكهف والرقيم كانوا من آياتنا عجبا أم حسبت أنت فاكر أن الاضطهاد اللي حصل لأصحاب الكهف حالة خاصة؟ لا مش عجبا عارف أنت أقول لك إيه أنت بصير كده إيه وأنا عجبا عجبا يعني وأنا وأنا مختلف وأنا حالة خاصة لا ده ده الطبيعي ده الطبيعي سنة ربنا في الدعوات إن الدعاء والمصلحين والأنبياء لازم يضطهدوا ويحاصروا وينفعوا ده طبيعي الجهاز يا محمد خلال سنة ونص بعد نزول الصورة دي كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم والصحابة محاصرين في شعب أبي طالب لا أدرين يبيعوا لحد ولا بيشتروا من حد حشرة دي بيعيوهم وصل الأمر إنهم أكلوا الحشائش اللي في الأرض حتى أصبحت مخلفات الصحابة تشبه مخلفات الماشية من كتر ما بقى هم بيأكلوا نفس الأكل بتاع الماشية بيأكلوا الحشائش بعض الأرض ده بس علشان الناس تعرف ديننا وصلنا إزاي ديننا هو قصة كفاح قصة كفاح أنبياء وأتباع أنبياء وصحابة وناس اضطهدت وناس اتحصرت و... إحدى حلقات هذا الكفاح كفاح الإسلام هو قصة أصحاب الكفاح Made them some sambusa And can we, I want to show you guys my dress My mom got me this from Aswan, Egypt And I love it That's the first time I wear it Shake the down and on though ايه؟ الشيف بتاعنا النهارده شايف اللي بيتصبط الاكل يا ربي اعطيلك محشي يا حمادة بص يا حمادة هي كده بلا حاجة كده بلا حاجة كده نص ولا حاجة بلا حاجة نام مهندسون يا جنانون عمال يعني اشتغلون انت فاكرها يعني هو يعني مش مصدقها نفسك شكل نوع غير كده خالص يعني بصراحة يا حبيبي حط واحدة لحية يا حبيبي ما هو لو عملنا لحية مش هيكفي يا حبيبي هيكفي يا حبيبي نجيب بلح بلح كتير على 
في بالح كتير خلي بس انت خلي خلي الاخر الكتير ده لا والله ما 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 عايز نص حماده بس شفت ازاي بقى Thank <laughs> you.